Hello, everybody. This is Derek. Um, sorry, I'm calling in a couple minutes late. We pre finished up early, so they are uh, leaving on the bus now. So I'm going to patch Coach in on a three-way call, and then we'll get started. Hello. 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 Hey, on. Coach, are you there now? I am. Yep. Okay, great. Media, you can hear me okay? Yep. yep. Okay. Yeah. okay, all right. Just making sure we we're all joined up. Um, I'm going to let Coach uh, do some review with you on how the bye week has gone and how they've utilized that, and then we'll take your questions about Northwestern. Go ahead, Coach. Okay, thanks, DB. Um, starting the bye week, I think the thing that probably stands out the most is just that we shortened, you know, what we do certainly on court um, from a physical standpoint. You know, we showed obviously a lot of film, uh, whether it was from the Iowa game or uh, practice clips from the week. Uh, we did a lot of uh, non-contact things, running through our offense, with a lot of shooting this time of year. Uh, you know, obviously some dynamic weightlifting, which is a little bit different than the normal stuff we do during the year as well. I think when you get to this month, and obviously for us, I'd like to like do a million things in practice, but I think the most important thing, uh, especially for our guys that have played heavier events and some guys that are banged up a little bit, is to try to get their bodies and minds um, in the right spot uh, heading into tomorrow night's game. I think that's as or more important than any of the game planning or the X's and O's. Uh, so we really spent this week working on minds and bodies more than anything else. Thought we got that accomplished. And uh, I think, you know, today you could tell guys were excited. They, they were a little bit more bouncy uh, because we had shortened up some things this week. So that, I thought that was good, refreshing for them. Uh, obviously heading into tomorrow, I think, you know, as we talk about Northwestern, uh, McIntosh and Demps uh, certainly come to mind immediately with their playmaking ability, not only for themselves, but for others. I uh, think they're very, very talented offensively. And then uh, you talk about, you know, kind of the three-headed monster at the five with uh, Pardon and Segarin and Ola. Um, you know, they're, they're very big up front. Their three-point shooting capability, you know, they're a team that can make 10-plus threes in a game regularly. Um, you know, they've got shooters really, and, you know, they can play different lineups. So they have shooters at four positions, and certainly Ola can step out at the five and make threes and long jump shots as well. I think they execute well. Uh, they screen really well. Um, and obviously you can tell the, the benefit of them playing a lot of their younger guys last year that they are a year older and they're, uh, and they're more connected. So but those are some of the challenges, obviously, uh, that we'll face tomorrow night. Um, but again, the biggest thing for us, I thought, was using this bye week wisely to get mentally and physically refreshed. Uh, I thought that we needed, uh, needed to do that uh, to put us in the best place here moving forward. Questions? John, this is Mark. Uh, Ola was out for a while, and um, um, the benefit of that seems to be that they got a pretty good look at Pardon, who's had some some good games. What, what have you What have you seen from him? Obviously, a guy that plays with a lot of motor and energy. Uh, he's good on the backboard. Uh, does a great job of finishing in and around the basket. Um, you know, obviously his uh, you know most highly touted or, or prolific game scoring game he had right in game was the first one he came off the red shirt. He had twenty eight. 12 at Nebraska, uh, which is not easy to do. But uh, the thing I appreciate the most about Washington certainly is his motor. Hey, Coach, this is Scott. I guess if you spend this week getting minds and bodies right, does that mean maybe a change in a guy like Thorne's status this weekend? Obviously, uh, it's nothing's changed there with him. Uh, you know, Tracy, I've, I've kind of tagged is out for the season. We all know that. And then Moran and and uh, Bo is out indefinitely, um, and that's been that's still the case uh, at this juncture. Has uh, Thorne been practicing at all, Coach? I'm sorry. Has Mike been uh, practicing at all? He has been doing Thorne? some segments of it. Yeah, um, some, um, uh, both both treatment and rehab, both conditioning and some segments of practice. But John, just to be clear on those two guys, you're you're not yet ready to declare them out for this season. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Thank you. Coach, uh, you guys have kind of 
struggled stopping opposing point guards, um, especially getting to the paint. And like you said, McIntosh is a good one. So I mean, how do you expect the stopping on defensive end? Maybe some different looks, different people guarding him, or what's the game plan there? Well, the biggest thing right now, especially this time of year, I think a lot of teams kind of are who they are. Um, and you got to get better at what you do. You know, um, you know, obviously you can throw certain wrinkles and you can adapt and adjust here, not only uh, in game prep, but in the middle of the game as well and make adjustments. But all in all, you know, you kind of are who you are and you got to do what we are supposed to do better uh, with more energy, with more focus, uh, with more consistency, more sustainability. Those are some of the things that we talked about this week. We showed a lot on film. Um, you know, certainly honed in on a few areas and got, I thought, better at those things. But, you know, this time of year we try to utilize film um, probably a little bit more uh, just because we know it has been a long season and uh, our bodies have been physically taxed. And, um, you know, I want to make sure that uh, – you know, that we don't lose the game before it's tipped. You know, we want to make sure that guys are mentally and physically ready to go. And I thought we did a good job of that. I can tell today in practice those guys were, you know, we looked fresh, fresher. You know, I don't know if there's such a thing as totally fresh in February. You know, that, that for anybody, in any team, uh, in any player, certainly that's played significant minutes because it is long. So no one probably feels great, but you're trying to, bridge that gap and get them to where their minds and bodies certainly want to continue to play with great energy, great focus, and uh, you don't get in your own way. And, I, again, I thought that's what we accomplished more than anything else this week. John, uh, DJ had a good game last time out. Is there any carryover from that where where a young guy has, has a good game and then you notice in practices that follow that game that he's got a little more, you know, hop in his step and so forth that he's he's excited about what he did? Yeah, no, he's practiced very well. Uh, he did a good job of piggybacking uh, last weekend, to, you know, how he's played this week in practice. Um, you know, he's he's, uh, he's had a really good week of uh, practice. I thought he was probably his best day yesterday. You know, today was a harder day to gauge because it was so short. I did some good things today. But um, I think he's valuing taking care of the ball a, a lot more. Uh, his preparation and routine for – games and practices uh, with the consistency there has been better and uh, he's getting better defensively. He was active on the glass and he's provided us with energy. You know, when he plays with energy and great effort and has enthusiasm like you saw on Sunday and he did this week during practice, then there's no question uh, that he can help us and that potential and talent that he has starts to get unleashed. You know, it's when he has inconsistencies in those areas where, you know, sometimes stays locked up and um, we've talked a lot about that I think he understands that values all those things more and uh, has really has really gotten better Uh, and hopefully you know he continues to build on how he played last weekend and how he's played this week in practice coach this is Derek could you talk about how Nunn and Finky have looked uh, with this bye week obviously we're banged up prior to that Sure. Yeah, that obviously was helpful. It was a good time for both those guys. Uh, you know, I thought it was great for them. The timing was good. Yeah. Both guys I really certainly respect and appreciate uh, at a high level because, you know, those guys have played dinged up here for a little bit. Um, obviously, uh, you know, they're a, big, they're a big part of certainly what we do. So both guys are pretty tough guys. And, uh I do think this week certainly helped them get a little bit more healthier and feeling a little bit better. That's not only good for tomorrow, but uh, forced down the stretch here. Any final questions? Thank you, Coach. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, John. This them, uh, we've got... I'm not coming with you. Yeah, I think I probably will get one. I'm going to bring my laptop.